New tonight at 6. It's a friendship that has been in the news quite a bit. The judge, John Maholsky, and the strip club owner, Peter Gerace. Now, the judge is still recovering from being hit by a train after walking onto the tracks. The strip club owner is under federal indictment now. Tonight, we hear from a woman who knows them both. Here's investigative reporter Steve Brown with this Two on Your Side original. They are divorced now, but for a time, Katrina Nigro was married to Peter Gerace. How long were you married to Peter? Well, with the divorce being so long, it ended up being over four years. Okay. Nigro recently did a brief audio only interview with Two on Your Side. At the very beginning of her marriage to Jerez, Judge John Mikulski was there. He performed the ceremony, and that's his signature on the marriage license. About the judge, we asked Nigro. How well do you know him? Enough. Um, he was really close with Peter. So, I mean, I went to dinner a couple of times with him and his wife. Even after the marriage of Jerez was over, there was enough of a relationship with the judge that when Nigro was arrested for drunk driving following a head-on crash, one of her court appearances was before Judge Mikulski. Two weeks later, Mikulski sent this letter to the Erie County District Attorney's Office, removing himself from the case without explanation. Now, before Nigro became Mrs. Jerez, she was an employee at her future husband's strip club, Pharaohs. Before I was with them, I had an adult store inside and I worked there. I, I did everything there. Bartend, waitress, like whatever to cover. I didn't ever dance there though. Pharaohs is at the center of the federal charges Jerace now faces. The indictment accuses Jerace of paying bribes to this man, former DEA agent Joseph Bongiovanni, to protect the strip club from federal narcotics investigations. And that Jerace allegedly used the business quote to facilitate prostitution and the use and distribution of controlled substances. We asked Nigro what she saw when she worked at Pharaoh's. So you witnessed things there? Yeah. Um, drug dealing? There was just a lot of drug dealers and a lot of dancers using drugs. The relationship between Nigro and Joyce today is strained. One example, a condition of Joyce's release while he awaits trial is to have no contact with witnesses, and that includes Nigro. According to a transcript of the arraignment, Jerace's attorney, Joel Daniels, told the judge that wouldn't be a problem because Nigro would be the last person Mr. Jerace would want to have any contact with. I don't think he'd want to be in the same hemisphere with her. And last fall, Jerace filed a lawsuit against Nigro, claiming he'd been defamed by her when she posted on Facebook Jerace did pay off police and described Jerace as a drug dealer and sex trafficker. So we asked Nigro, Quotes from your Facebook page? Yes. Those are things that you posted? Yes. And they're true? Yes. But that lawsuit, it was halted in December when a federal judge issued an injunction. The request coming from Joseph Trippi, the assistant U.S. attorney leading the prosecution of Jerez. And about that federal case, we asked Nigro. Have you talked to federal investigators? Yes. But Nigro didn't get into details about what she told federal investigators. Now, we did reach out to Judge Mikulski's attorney, who did not comment, but did say that the judge was continuing to recover at home. And Jerace's attorneys, they provided us a warning about talking with Nigro. Quote, it's unfortunate that anyone would believe a word Ms. Nigro says. We know her history. Telling tales is nothing new to her. Like we said, the relationship is strained. In Buffalo, Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.